Hello everybody, it's the Brick Lord here, back with another Ninjago video, and today is the Top 10 J Suits video. I am super excited for this video, and my Top 10 Ninja Suit series as a whole, you guys seem to be enjoying it quite a bit, and I know Jay is a very popular ninja, and many of you have been waiting for me to get to him, so here it is. Actually, as of the day I'm posting this video, I happen to have today off work, which gave me a great opportunity to make this video and post it for you guys. And if you guys can't tell, I'm excited to do this, and this is going to be a really awesome, fun video. And the only disclaimer I want to mention right now is that these must be suits that were seen in the show. So no epic battle, no dragon masters, no spinjitsu masters, and obviously no Ninjago movie. Um, NRG and Forbidden Spinjitsu do qualify because we did see those suits in the show. But yeah, with all that said, I'm just so excited to do this. And yeah, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into the top 10 J suits. Number 10 pick. And starting off this list is JDX, a really awesome ninja suit. The DX suits haven't made every ninja list because there's some suits I like better, but JDX is really cool. He's probably my favorite DX ninja behind Kai. Uh, it's just a really cool figure, great printing, and just a really cool design. That lightning dragon on the torso looks incredible, and yeah, overall, really awesome, and for sure is definitely going to make this list. It's a really awesome suit. Yeah, definitely deserving of number 10. Number 9 pick is going to Rebooted J, and you guys know I like the Rebooted suits. I know these are a controversial pick, but I think they look really good, and again, J is no exception. I really love the lightning bolts on the torso. I think they did those incredibly well, and there's also some hints to the Season 2 robes, which I really enjoy, and it was the first introduction of the hair and half mask, which I personally like, so yeah, it's a pretty cool suit. Lack of leg printing is unfortunate, but yeah, still a well-done suit here. Number 8 pick is going to Dave the Departed or Honor Robe J, and this suit basically does his original and ZX suit 10 times better. It has the silver metallic arm in actual silver, and the light blue and dark blue work great. J symbol looks excellent, and yeah, I mean, overall, it's on the simpler side, but also it's more detailed than those originals that it's based off of, and overall, it looks pretty darn good, and I really like the Day of the Departed Rope, so definitely deserving of being on this list for sure. Number 7 pick is going to kimono robe j and the kimono suits are one of my favorites you guys know that and silver blue and black does work pretty darn well together here the silver actually pops pretty darn nicely and with the armor it looks even better and i really like the belt buckles and the robe detail it all works together really nicely and yeah it's a cool suit and really well done very ornamental it looks really nice and definitely deserved a spot on this list for sure Number 6 pick is going to Hands of Time J, and you guys know I really like the Hands of Time suits, and J is really awesome. The dark blue is incredible, and then with the black, it really makes the suit feel dark and kind of ninja-like, but then the normal blue accents nicely. J symbol looks good in the center, and yeah, overall, it's a very, very detailed suit, but still looks really awesome, and the Hands of Time suits rock, so yeah, he was definitely going to make this list for sure. Number 5 pick is probably not too much of a shocking surprise, yes I know, pun intended there, but is going to the absolutely amazing electric NRG or True Potential Suit J, and oh my gosh, this just looks incredible. This has got to be my favorite NRG suit. The lightning just looks incredible, and J symbol and electricity just looks even better, and yeah, I mean, overall, it's an incredible looking suit, and yeah, it definitely just pops as soon as you see it, so yeah, it's absolutely well done, and for sure was definitely going to make this list absolutely Number 4 pick 
is going to one of my favorite styles of suit that being the digi suit and digi j really looks incredible here i love the blue and white main color scheme and both colors really work together well and neither overpowers the other those electric blue dots i really like those and i love how they contrast so nicely against the regular like j blue color and the vr mask is pretty sweet as well and yeah overall it's a really cool suit i like these suits and yeah it was definitely going to make the list Number three pick is going to another style of suit I really enjoy that being the deep stone robes and Jay looks really good the black blue and gold work excellent together and I really love how ninja like and dark and kind of mean these deep stone suits look and the blue really once again just accents super nice against the black and yeah it's a really cool suit I really love the deep stone suits and Jay is no exception he pulls it off nicely so well done here Number two pick is going to a suit that I'm guessing many of you expected that was going to be relatively high up and it's Jay's Skybound robe and yeah it's a really cool suit you know it's pretty cool especially if I have it one being on the main list itself two it's ahead of Deep Stone and Digi so yeah it's it's a really awesome suit the blue black and gold and purple really work nicely together and it's really good that Jay got a very awesome looking suit for his focus season so yeah it's really awesome looks great and yeah it's an awesome suit definitely deserving of getting a spot on this list for sure and now for some honorable mentions the first one being March of the Oni or Season 10 J, and this is a pretty fine suit. It's nothing mind-blowing, and I like other suits more. This suit just feels kind of plain, lacking any armor or anything like that. It's not a bad suit, but it's definitely not a great suit, and that's really why it's an honorable mention for me. Also, as an honorable mention, I do want to mention Hero J. The hero suits are okay. They're nothing mind-blowing, and I think Jay's is fine. It's nothing too crazy. I do actually like the silver accents. It does work really nicely. The armor and the mask does fit together really well. Um, but yeah, otherwise, though, I can't say anything too great about this suit, and it just wasn't quite enough to make the main list itself. And the last honorable mention is going to Avatar J, or more commonly known as Superstar Rockin' J. And yeah, this is just such a weird, wacky design for J. It's so weird that it's fun, and yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the light aqua color for his skin and all of the gold stars and lightning bolts on his torso and his weird white hair. Overall, it's pretty cool, but it's not a ninja suit, and that's kind of the reason it's not on the main list, but it's definitely an awesome suit. And now for the number one pick is going to possibly an interesting choice but is going to the season 14 island j suit and oh my gosh i still love this suit in my individual ranking the island ninja suits j was number one and i still stand by that i think he has the best island suit it just looks incredible i love the hair and half mask because i personally like that design the armor works great and then as for like the rest of it like it's kind of a robed ninja suit and then there's the island detail tails on top of it with like the big belts and the canteen water bottle and stuff and overall everything works together so well and crafts perfectly to get this amazing suit and yeah it's definitely by far my favorite J suit and that'll now conclude my top 10 J suits video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a super fun one to make as always. But yeah, it was just so fun to rank all of J suits. It was really actually quite difficult to decide between his suits what was going to go where on the list. Um, because even though Jay's not my favorite ninja, I do have to admit he has a lot of cool suits. And it was really difficult to actually order these for this video. But I think it turned out really nice and I'm definitely happy with the placements of everything but yeah with all that said though I do want to mention I have my own discord server if you guys have not joined that uh, feel free to join that it's a cool place you guys can chat with me more and other Ninjago youtubers and fans but yeah the link to that will be in the description um, and also while you're kind of scrolling down that way if you guys could hit the like button that would definitely be appreciated and then also if you guys could hit the subscribe button we are over a 
180 subscribers. I think we're nearing 190, which, oh my gosh, you guys are just amazing. Uh, seriously, it wasn't that long ago we were at like 150, so uh, you guys are seriously just awesome. So I thank you guys so much for that. Uh, so if you guys would consider, if you're not subscribed, hitting that subscribe button, that would definitely help me out. And also hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. But yeah, with all that said, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Super fun to make. And yeah, without holding up any more of your guys' time, I thank you once again for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. So, bye!